Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Environment Matters. I'm Mike Huff. A new school program in Pocahontas County is getting kids excited and taking advantage of some of the DEP's education and outreach programs. I'm thinking about adding another fin on the top for stability. Okay. Like, you know, because how, how, how okay. sharks have that on the top, it's yeah. actually so they don't tip over. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one! Let's go! It's called Adventure Pocahontas, a new program that brings learning to the outdoors. One minute they're sending paper rockets into space, or they're learning the proper way to ride a mountain bike. And the next, they're learning about the simple machines, things like wheel and axle, and pulleys, and levers, and fulcrums that make it all work. It's real fun because um, we usually don't get to go outside on a regular school day, and this has just been a good experience for me. It's the brainchild of Tracy Velosh, founder and director of Nature's Mountain Classroom. What we really wanted to do with this program is to essentially give the natural resources found here in Pocahontas back to the students and show them how to do it in the right way, in the sustainable way, and um, the safe way. So with that, um, Nature's Mountain Classroom was born, and the Pocahontas County Board of Education has just been amazing to work with. Um, I kept kind of planting little seeds about the program and my, you know, big dream of kayaking and hiking and biking and skiing with their students. And every time I would plant a little seed, people would say, oh, that sounds great. What can I do to help? So instead of putting up roadblocks, people were offering us opportunities on how to actually make it happen and make it sustainable. And part of that is tapping into the educational and outreach efforts of the DEP, like Project WET, Save Our Streams, and the Youth Environmental Program. The best part of my job uh, with the Youth Environmental Program that's part of the DEP is to reach out to kids and help them appreciate their communities and what they offer in their community and how they can help make their community a better place. And the bigger part of it here in Pocahontas County, they have so many awesome things right here in their own backyard. So they can appreciate it, learn about it, um, the mountain biking aspect or kayaking or skiing, um, but it also helps them not only enjoy and have a, have a blast in their environment, but also appreciate it and make sure that everything is um, better for the environment, clean water, clean air, uh, that whole thing, like how great it is. And, and I think that they can get excited about it. Great. The impact for our school has been that the kids have enjoyed coming to school. They look forward to the Thursday that they get to do this once a week. And it's just, uh, it's, it's helped in so many ways from discipline to engaging them in outdoor activities for physical health. And also uh, they are, it's a classroom. They're having classes while they're, they're learning, you know, um, how to build rockets, they're learning West Virginia history, they're learning, you know, things that uh, are in the, the curriculum. So, uh, you know, that's important and the thing about that is, is that uh, they're doing it in a fun way. The program is already generating interest in other counties and organizers hope that it eventually takes off statewide. We already have requests from Randolph County to do Adventure Randolph. Um, it's been spoken about doing Adventure Greenbrier. And what I hope is that Nature's Mountain Classroom can actually work with counties to do some asset mapping on how we can identify partners and funders and presenters in each community to really kind of come around and love on this idea. And then Nature's Mountain Classroom can come in and kind of help connect all of those pieces and help with the scheduling and so forth. I think one of the really neat things too is that um, the different agencies who's help, who have helped, whether it's the U.S. Forest Service or the DEP or even the Snowshoe Foundation or Challenge Athletes, the teachers and the principals who are coming to these events are getting to meet these people who work within the community. And I already know of some teachers who have reached out to Beth, for example, to do a recycling program at Marlinton Elementary. We're connecting some of the dots, not just for the kids, but for the educators in the community as well what kinds of projects are out there, what kinds of resources are out there, so that they can continue what they started here into the classroom or into other programs. You can find more information about Nature's Mountain Classroom by visiting their Facebook page. 
and to find out about the DEP's education and outreach programs like Project WET, Save Our Streams, and the Youth Environmental Program, visit our website, dep.wv.gov. In Pocahontas County, I'm Mike Huff for Environment Matters. Thanks for watching.